How you going? Now I'm pretty good at pool. You know what I'm not very good at? Hitting a pool ball hard enough that it hits my mate in the head and makes his eyes turn into billiard balls like that scene from Tom and Jerry. So today, I'm gonna to create a device to make that happen. All right, so I've got a couple of made up requirements for this device. First, I want it to be small enough to fit on the end of a real pool stick and not look that different or suspicious. I also want it to break the world record for fastest pool break, which is only around 30 miles per hour, which seems pretty slow. Then, to finish off, I want to play my mate in a game of pool and win. And I think I've got a pretty good idea of how I want to do all this, and that's with these blank rounds, which I've screwed around with before in my power hammer, which was able to fling nails all the way through my roof. And the great thing about these rounds is that they are very small while also being very safe. And if there are any kids under eight watching this, you should definitely play with these. So I've drawn this sketch of how I imagine these rounds working. First, I'll have my pool stick, which has a metal cap on the end with a metal sleeve. And inside that sleeve will sit a hollow rod. And inside that rod is a piston. And then when I hit the pool ball, that rod will move back inside the sleeve, hitting the metal cap, setting off the blank round, which will fire the piston out at high speed, hitting the pool ball. But I really have no idea if this will work. And a lot can go wrong here. Like the whole thing exploding or the piston shooting out like a bullet. Or worst of all, I don't actually get enough force to set off the blank round. But the only way to find out is to start making. So I got this piece of mild steel round bar and put it in my lathe. Now the metal workers amongst you have already noticed a massive mistake I've made that will come to haunt me later. You want to tell me what it is so I don't have to do it? No. Nah. So the first thing I'm doing is making this piece, which is gonna be the barrel, and it will be the same diameter as the wooden pool stick. And you know, there's actually a reason my lathe looks like this. It's my vague attempt to get it to work better by getting anything in my house that has weight and putting it on top or inside the lathe, which helps it stop chattering and shaking around. And since doing this, I have noticed a big difference in the way it cuts. So after turning the barrel down to size, I realized I made it a little bit too small. So I added some material into the lathe and made it bigger. Yep, it's the right size. Now I'm gonna drill a hole through the middle making the barrel. And I barely started drilling when I somehow managed to break the lathe. That's not meant to have a crack in it. So I took this long metal bar from my collection and cut it to the same size as the broken part. And then I'm gonna attempt something I've never seen before and that might be illegal. I put a milling drill bit in the lathe chuck and put my piece in the tool holder and started cutting grooves out so it matches the broken part. Never mind, I broke the milling bit. So instead I just drilled a hole in the metal without cutting grooves and put it back in and now the lathe works again. What was I doing again? So after adding the broken milling bit on top of the lathe for weight, I finished drilling the hole. Now it's time to cut the part off, and I find I get a better result if the part comes off and falls directly into this pile of sharp metal pubic hair, which is always really fun to dig parts out of. Alright, now comes the piston, which I'm going to make by turning down this piece until it fits into this hole. And I think I've left enough of a rim here to stop the piston from firing out the end. So I used a little bit of lubricant and put a thread on the end of it. I also made a little end cap that will attach to the piston using the same size thread. And because I don't want to damage it, I put it in the vise with my apron wrapped around it. Then screwed on this end piece, which will be making contact with the ball. And now the whole thing looks like this and moves around okay. So before I put the blank round in and give it a test go, there's something else I need to do. And you've already seen the thumbnail and you know that I need to put some exhaust holes in the barrel, which will firstly make it look cooler and match the thumbnail, but will also release gas and hopefully stop the piston from slamming into the end of the barrel too hard. So I just did that on the drill press. And the great thing about doing this without the use of any physics programs or mathematical calculations is that I have no idea if these exhaust ports will be large enough or in the right place place to stop the whole thing from blowing up, which is why I'm going to test it in this vise first, while I stand behind this very thin plaster wall.
But before I do that, I'm going to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, PayPal Honey. Honey is the number one shopping tool in America, but I like to think of it as being more like a lover that lives inside my computer and is always trying to find me great deals on the things I'm buying. Simply, Honey automatically searches for promo codes so you don't have to. And when you buy something, if Honey works on that site, it swoops in to help you find a great deal. It doesn't matter what you are buying as Honey works on many of the sites you are already using. For example, I was buying these pool balls for later in the video and Honey came in and saved me $10. There really is no better feeling than saving money while shopping online. So go now and add it to your browser at joinhoney.com slash I did a thing. That's joinhoney.com slash I did a thing. All right, back to setting off the blank rounds behind this thin wall. Very loud bang in three, two, one. which didn't work. So I tried a heavier piece of metal. Three, two, one. Which didn't work either. So I tried again. Okay, loud bang in three, two, one. There we go. It's like it survived. And that made the whole house vibrate and shot the piston out at a ridiculous speed. And it also didn't blow up, which is amazing, as I didn't expect these holes to be big enough to let the gas out. But after looking at the slow motion, which only captured a single frame of the round going off, you can see that heaps of gas came back out the top, ejecting the round. Which sounds like a good thing, but when it's on the end of the pool stick, this means it will shoot off the end or just blow up. It also means I'm wasting heaps of gas, which could be pushing down the piston with more force. So I drilled some more exhaust holes in the barrel and also put in this tiny spring to hopefully help the piston survive the extra force. And at first I thought that did better as the round was still in the top, but then I realized I couldn't move the piston. So after using a hammer to get it out, I saw the problem. <gasps> Look at the spring. So why is it thinner? Oh, it's getting stretched. Whoa. It's hitting the inside with such force that it's stretching this bit. Look at that. And lucky for me, I also have my super slow-mo camera, which records at 60 frames per second and gave me this single frame of information telling me nothing. My camera is just not recording fast enough. You know, if I could have any YouTuber locked up in my attic right now, it would definitely be the slow-mo guys, just so I could understand what is actually happening here. Boys, if you're watching, I've even put a chair up there for you. And I really should have had some more foreskin, I mean foresight, and known that the mild steel would misshape and give out like this, which now means I need to make the whole thing again using a stronger steel, using this stuff here, called 2160 or 5160 or 1300 700 904, I, I don't remember. So I remade the whole device again, but this time without any jokes. And I also made the piston much thicker, which should now hopefully survive. But in case it doesn't, I'm gonna skip doing another safety test in the vise and go straight to testing by hand to see what it does to a pool ball and pool stick. Now to do this, I bought a material called polycarbonate, which is similar to monogamy carbonate, but has many more layers. Then I just welded up a frame for it. And I'm fairly confident this stuff should protect me from the rounds and explosion as it's what the Mythbusters used. And as far as I'm aware, they ain't dead.
Okay, so I've decided I better add another piece of polycarb and it's now 12 millimeters thick. Then I just cut this neat little hole in the polycarb for the pool stick to go through. And I know what you're thinking. What was the point of making this blast proof screen if you're just gonna put a hole in the middle of it? Well, hopefully the pool stick will cover up that hole and I'll also position myself to the side away from the hole and the blast. Okay, next I just cut off the end of a pool stick and drilled down the center and then shoved in the metal pin with a sleeve around it to hold the piston. And it's done, which is annoying because I'm terrified and really don't wanna use this. Okay, it's not setting off the round. And I think that's because the round is hitting against this flat piece of metal. So I'm gonna grind it down on the belt sander until I have just a small pin, which should hopefully crush just the end of the round. Okay. I hate it so much. Oh. Ready? Set. Okay. And that worked a little too well and turned the end of a stick into a grenade. That was insane. The pull stick is destroyed. <laughs> and the outside sleeve is over here. And if we do some really bad speed calculations, the camera was crawling at 60 frames per second. And in one frame, the ball traveled roughly 50 centimeters which means it's traveling at 30 meters a second or 108 kilometers an hour, which is 70 miles per hour, which is 40 miles faster than the fastest pull brake ever. And that's already one of my arbitrary goals ticked off. So let's move on to the pull game. But first I need to fix this sleeve. And this time I'm gonna make it out of thicker metal and also put some exhaust holes so that if the gas comes out of the back, it doesn't explode the stick. And this looks pretty cool way better than the first version, which means it's time for me to find a pool table. Nice. Oi Alexa, you wanna play pool? So Alexa and I are gonna play a game of pool, except he has a normal pool stick and I have mine and we'll see who wins. You may uh, worry about pool, is what we're doing? Yeah, exactly. It's a pity you're not kind of long enough to reach that though, but you must be. Um, and I'll break first. Okay. Yep. Yep. Happy? No, but... Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Three, oh. two, one. Oh. 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 Two, one. Oh. Ah. Oh. What the f***? Two, one. <laughs> what happened? Look at Jess. What happened? This is this. <laughs> oh no! So I get the break. Yeah, so I guess you get the break. Okay, that was my first shot. Okay, so this is because I missed, so it's your shot. Is that bullet on the table? There's bits of everything. There's so many. Look, this thing's sharp. What is that? Okay, your shot. That was a bad break. I mean, it's better than your shot. It was better than mine. We all saw what happened. And Alexa isn't much better at pool. And he lined me up perfectly for a nice soft shot on the purple ball here. <laughs> so what are you doing? Is it this not enough? Oh, you just take the dick this. Yep. Three. Two. One. Oh. Hey! Yes! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What did I break? The white ball was in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I guess we continue. I can't beat you like this though. Where's the other half? How is that possible? And at first I had no idea what happened, but after watching the slow motion, you can see that the pool stick chops the white ball in half, sending one of the halves into the striped ball, pushing it in. Now I wanted to get a lot of power with this build, but I never expected it to be powerful enough to split the white ball clean in half. But I guess it's good as I got one in, even though I wasn't aiming for that ball. And that means I'm ahead by one ball. What, which ball did I get in? I got in stripes. So that means you got to get, uh, I get the fools. you're I on fools. How am I meant to get anything with this? Well, you got to try. Try to hit that. 
Okay, but I gotta do it back from there. Yeah. It's all right, it's not a big deal. Just somewhere on the line. Tools, anywhere on the line. Anywhere on the line is the rule. I'm going for fools. Yeah. Let me just uh Which one you aiming for? I'm trying to get that blue in at the end. Yeah, you You're better be with half a ball than a real it was ball. Be easy. And after that miracle shot from Alexa, we were now tied. Oh, hands. Oi! Was that your ball? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so it's my go, but I'm gonna replace it. This go ball with a with a real ball, and I'm gonna aim for this guy. That's great. Okay, we'll replace it. There you go. I sunk one of his balls and I'm realizing I really don't have much control with this thing. It kind of just knocks all the balls in. Okay, what are you what are you lining up for? That red one right there. Okay, whenever you're ready. You suck. So well, this is good for me though, because I can get it into here, get another break. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Two, one. Oh, white ball's gonna go there. One went in. One went in? Yeah, went in over here. Yeah, it was. It keeps working. And I sunk another one of his balls. So, Alexa's ahead by two balls, which means I need to sink three in one go to get ahead. You have the easiest shot here, sir. You're very winning. bad at this game. Still winning. You are still winning. You are still winning. Oh, no, you're only as bad as the first you play again. I'm kind of scared to do more shots with this because I feel like the more we do, the more likely this explodes or the police come. Yeah, I'll do one more shot. One more shot? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, you've positioned me perfectly for white into these two. Don't even have to move the screen. Three. I hate this still. Two. How did it not hit that cup? <laughs> it missed everything. That is hilarious. Yeah, so the reason that that one was so hard is that the pistons finally broke. Oh my God. What? Why didn't you, I said, oh my God. And I think that means that's the end of the game. As the piston expanded again and is now stuck and I don't want to remake the whole thing. And also I'm scared the police are going to come. So New South Wales police, if you are watching this video, those loud bangs you heard, they were my car backfiring. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos.